The SVD-185 gouge jig creates an axis of rotation that is at an angle to the shank of the tool being sharpened. The angle causes the tool to move in an ellipse rather than a circle as you rotate the tool. The angle between the tool and the axis is adjustable. The adjustment knuckle is calibrated so that you can easily return to a setting used previously. By varying the amount of tool protruding from the front of the jig, the angle between the axis of rotation and the tool, and the position of the universal support relative to the grindstone, you can create a limitless range of profiles on wood turning gouges. Before we get too deep into how to sharpen a side grind, let's go to the lathe and see why we want this shape in the first place. The idea behind a side grind profile is to have a larger cutting surface to present to the turning stock. Look at the difference between the size of the shaving taken with a side grind gouge on the left and the straight grind gouge on the right. That'll make a huge difference in the time it takes to shape this turning. Another advantage of the large cutting surface is control. Just like a cabinet maker uses a larger hand plane to create a straight flat board, the turner uses the wider cutting surface of the side grind gouge to create a smooth flowing curve instead of an irregular one. Now that we know why we want our tools ground this way, let's take a look at how to maintain that shape easily and accurately. The easiest way to keep our three variables the same every time we sharpen is to use the TTS-100 turning tool setter. We'll start by setting the jig to jig setting number 4. Next we'll set the protrusion to 65 millimeters using the TTS-100. Last, we'll adjust the universal support until the two buttons both sit on the grindstone. That will give us the same angle, even as the grindstone wears. Now just start the Tormek, hold the bevel against the grindstone, and roll across at a consistent, even pace. Notice that I'm going from where the tool is just level with the axis of rotation, to the same point on the other side. Don't go below the axis of rotation or you'll pull the edge of the tool inside the flute. In just a couple of passes, I produced a perfect single facet bevel with a razor sharp edge ready to go back to the lathe. One of the trickiest profiles to sharpen is the Ellsworth side grind. It's a very long side with a short bevel angle. Set the jig at 6, the protrusion at 75 millimeters, and use the outside or A hole on the TTS-100. The long side requires very careful attention as you're sweeping across the tool. If you have your own custom profile that's not covered by the TTS-100, you can still get that same repeatability. Just make a custom stop block to set the protrusion and cut a piece of scrap that just fits between the grindstone and the universal support when the bevel angle is correct. The stop block method is not quite as reliable as the TTS-100 since the angle changes slightly as the grindstone wears. So far, we've been looking at sharpening tools that have already been ground to the proper shape. When shaping a tool to a side grind for the first time, Work on the sides first, getting the bulk of the material removed.
as you get the sides worked down, start working from the edge to the center and back and do a few passes on each side. Watch carefully and make sure that the line blends smoothly from the back of the bevel to the center. Last step, start making smooth, even passes all the way across, just like we do when we're sharpening. The SVD-185 also sharpens carving gouges that have bent shafts. It takes a little experimentation to find the correct settings, but once you do, you can use them for the life of the tool. After a little time on the leather honing wheel, the carving tools give a perfect polished cut. Wood turners around the world have discovered that the side grind gouge dramatically improves their turning. But maintaining that shape consistently by hand is a huge challenge. The SVD-185 makes the task very simple, whether you turn once in a while or every day. Your tools will cut better and last longer. If you've got a Tormek and a lathe, you don't want to be without this jig.